Hello, I'm Eric Renault, and this is a video for TipSquirrel.com, the free website for everything Photoshop, Photoshop Elements, Lightroom, Adobe Camera Raw, and Photoshop Touch. In this video, I've got a quick tip for you for when you're creating your actions. So let's jump into Photoshop and see what I mean. Okay, here we go. I've got my Actions palette all set up, and I've got a new set called Actions Actions all ready for me. Let me demonstrate something first of all though. Uh, you notice that I've got a set here called Eric's Helpful Bits. In there, all kinds of things that help me in my day-to-day -day use of Photoshop. If I go over to the flyout menu, I can choose button mode and it'll put all these actions into buttons. So one click and away it goes. For example, I can find the middle of this particular image with one click and then I can clear the guides again just with one click. It's really helpful but sometimes I need to get back to my actions. So I've got one here called list mode and I can click on that and sure enough, I'm back to where I was. Now, why am I showing you this? Well, let me demonstrate. If I click on action actions, a new set and create a new action and call it action one, I've said actions far too much now. Let's start recording. Let's have a look at that example of going backwards and forwards between the button and the list view. Well, from my action here, if I click this flyout menu, you'll notice that button mode is greyed out. In fact, quite a lot is greyed out in this menu. Sure enough, if I come over here to maybe the layer menu item, you can see that lots is greyed out here as well. Now, if you're used to using menus, this may put you off using actions because they're not there to be used, but fear not. Let's go back to that flyout menu again. Come down about a third way down and you'll see insert menu item. If I click on that, up comes a dialog box and it's going to tell me that I'm going to insert a menu item and even display what menu item I have inserted. So let's try it out. Let's go up to my flyout menu and sure enough, there's button mode all ready for me. So let's click on that and it's told me in my dialog box that I've opened the button mode from the menu item. Good. I'm going to click OK, tell it I'm done with menus. Thank you very much. And you'll see that is now greyed out again. Let's just invoke that one more time and I can show you over here in my layer menu that things are no longer greyed out. And that goes for a lot of stuff in the different menus too. Okay, let's click cancel from that and stop that. And that's the end of my action. So there we go. A very quick and helpful little tip for you. In fact, I think we've got a couple in there. Don't forget to use the button mode. It is really very, very helpful. And don't forget that you can always put in menu items too. I'm Eric Reno for tipsquirrel.com. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for even more Photoshop loveliness. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye for now.